Stevenson, bike number 96, right there in the middle of the field. Okay, the flag is up. And they're racing. Bike number 745 got a real bad start on the uh, line there. That was uh, the 250 modified production class, Career Sack Fumarat. Boy, I don't know if that's a correct name or not. to all you fans up on top of the hill there. We know it gets hot out here. There's going to be a white van coming up in about five minutes. A white van will be up in that area in about five minutes. Keep a look for it because they're going to be selling drinks and stuff up there. So if you run a little short, and as uh, our Raceway Rescue Service uh, personnel, uh, Larry Hayde, who mentioned, uh, uh, drink lots of juices. In fact, if you can get a lot of potassium in you, that would be the best thing. A lot of grape juice and stuff. And they're coming up there with some drinks. So uh, keep an eye out for a white van coming up there in the turn four area to give you guys some drinks. We've got a great race going here in the uh, third race of the day. So we've got three riders already starting to break away from the rest of the pack and coming down here to uh, complete lap number one. It is 96 on the Harley Davidson, Nigel Gale, but he's going to get passed by bike number 710. That's Ray Adams in the over 40 class. And he's Ray Adams is going to lead going into turn number one, but Nigel on that Harley Davidson puts his front wheel right under the rear wheel of... Uh, the leader and goes around turn number two. We've got a great race going between Ray Adams, 710, and Nigel Gale on that big, huge Harley Davidson. Boy, that is a very distinctive sound. Take, take a note and listen to that Harley Davidson of bike number 96 and Nigel Gale. A very distinctive sound as he heads up around this race circuit.
the slower rider is uh, Nigel Gale on that huge Harley Davidson. And coming by the start finish line, 710 once again. Ray Adams overtaking Dave Gibbons on that 750 Twins bike. Then comes bike number 954 running there in fourth. And that is Randy Redman, also in the over 40s class. Oh, we got the dust kicking up over there in turn number nine. We got a rider down in turn number nine. Looks like 311, uh, Matthew Winerski leading the Formula 4 class, coming by here in about 8th place overall, as he heads around turn number 1. Lady out here in this field, by the way, and she just went by the start-finish line on a 125 GP bike. Bike number 966, Karen Linnow, just going by into turn number 1. So all you ladies, you got somebody to root for. Gale on that big Harley Davidson coming down here with a big lead. Listen to this bike as he comes by the start finish line. This really sounds good. That sounds like a Harley. Okay, John Rowley giving the halfway flag to bike number 710, and that is Ray Adams. And in third spot, it's still the 750 Twins leader, Dave Gibbons. Then it comes 850 or 954 Randy Redman, who is in second spot in the over 40s class.
California. Sponsored by Brooks Cycle Sports. He's he's 39 years. up to the pre-grid please you are the next race this is going to be the feature main event the Kirker superbike riders up to the pre-grid please okay coming down to get the white flag and going into turn one on the american harley davidson is going to be the englishman nigel gale uh, Taking pretty much control of the race in second spot, 710 Ray Adams, who is going to clinch the over 40s class. Running in third spot is going to be Dave Gibbons, who's going to take control of the 750 Twins class. Superbike riders up to the pre grid, please. As you mentioned before, this uh, round now, the fourth round being brought to you by uh, Honda Line. Honda Line bringing you this uh, series. And as we mentioned before, we've uh, had three, uh, three rounds so far, and each round has been a different rider has been the winner, and a different motorcycle make has been the winner. Last month it was Jim Fricky, bike number 22, taking the win. A couple of months back it was Todd Brubaker on the Honda, the Sci-Fi Honda taking the win. And the first race of the year in this uh, Kirker Superbike Series, the winner was on the Suzuki, Yoshimura Suzuki, Kevin Schwantz. And of course Schwantz hasn't been here in the last couple of races, but he's out here today getting his bike ready for the uh, AMA Nationals up at Laguna Seca. And he's probably the best bet of the whole field to... Uh, give Fred Merkel a run for his money. Should be a terrific Laguna Seca coming up here in a couple of weeks between Kevin Schott, Swans on the Yoshimura Suzuki and flying Fred Merkel on the uh, factory on. sponsor this one. Budweiser Beer is the sponsor of this one, and we're glad to have uh, Budweiser Beer. Uh, the 30-year-old 